What's up, everybody? This is, this is Crypto Muscle. This is, this is coming to you for another YouTube video. Here we are, International Network. We're watching together. Where's that? Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Come to you in another video. And so, this is brought to you by the Crypto Muscle Network. All right. One of the biggest fails of this year, 2023, it's the fail of Pulse Chain. All right. Because Pulse Chain. Man, it was so hyped up, you know, for what it was going to be. And, oh, my gosh, it's going to be a game changer. This is, oh, man, the, the sacrifices, you know. Remember, of have no expectations, right? It's supposed to be the, the biggest thing, the baddest thing ever. Oh, man, it's supposed to be the best of the best in blockchain and everything else that comes with it. Oh, man, we got hundreds and hundreds of projects lined up for it. And all we got is a big fat <laughs> three. Well, you got three zeros here, a bunch of zeros right now. All right, and man, it just straight trash. And it's uh, and it's funny though, cause um, it's just how it is, you know. Let me show you guys something here. Let's see what's going on over in this land over here. They always got something to say here. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. They always have something to say. A uh, reminder to check in with your Hexkin friends. It's been a rough six months for them. <laughs> They're not okay. Hex, PLS, all right, yeah. This is back on August 31st here. All right, down 93%. Oh, man. From six months ago, 93%. It's, it's even less. All right, is it? Yeah. Is it less? Ah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Average hex victim buy-in. All right, let's see here. It says, F this shit. All right. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, yeah, that there. <laughs> YouTube releases password live and loses BRL. 240000 worth of... Damn. That's all I gotta say. They always have some funny stuff to say about, uh, you know, old boy there. Ooh, I'll leave it at that right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Coming back to this. Come on, people. You got to admit, this has been a big, 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 huge disappointment. All right. Just because this wasn't what it was going to be, you know. And I don't know. You guys got sold a bag of goods is, is what it was. I mean, for all the talk and just constant talking and, and this is all you got. Do you ever think it's going to be 57 cents again? No. You know how, many, you know how much of a wave of, of just a new set of new buyers you would need to even get to that point again? How, where are you going to find those people? You're not going to find those kind of people again. You're not going to have Richard Hart recycle the ETH again and again and again like he was doing. So if you have if you don't have Richard Hart recycling, you know, through the adoption amplifier and over and over again, recycling the ETH for hex, and then to pump up the price, and then to sacrifice everybody, not once but twice, do you think people will want to do a sacrifice all over again? Do you think people are going to buy into hex again? How or, or why? There's no purpose. There's no reason. So how are you going to create this sort of pump volume, buy volume, for Hex to ever be 57 cents again? Because it's not. <laughs> That's the reality. It's never going to get there. It's worthless. All right. So I'm still waiting to see the hundreds of people, the projects, I mean, lined up to join into Pulse Chain. 
Even the ones that were talking, these guys, right? D5 bids. These guys were talking mad crazy about, oh, you know, we're waiting for Pulse Chain to come, right? And uh, then we're going to jump on Pulse Chain, right? These guys said it because I've followed this project when it first launched, you know, their uh, ICO, IDO, whatever you want to call it, uh, back in 2020. There's two projects I followed back in 2020, which was uh, these guys here, Unipower, the complete liquidity, the first of its kind, complete liquidity based DeFi token. All right, where they said that's the first proof of liquidity token, uh, meaning that there's a 1 million supply that was sent to Uniswap. No more tokens can ever be minted. And this is set up by Uniswap. So I've only went to this one and DeFi bids during that time. What is this? Oh, we go here. All right, so when we look at this, all right, um, these two very projects are saying, oh, we're waiting for Pulse Chain. We're waiting for Pulse Chain to come, and then we're setting up, we're, we're going to go. And guess what? To this day, September 24th, still not happening. And the hundreds of projects lined up on for Pulse Chain. I don't see it. Where are they at? <laughs> it's not happening. But you know what's happening is uh, the trial is set come November. A lot of time. Actually, not a lot of time. But a lot of time for you to you better get ready to, to put that stuff up for sale. Dump it when you can. Because what if he beats you to the punch and dump it? And oh man, you guys would be holding a big, juicy bags of shit coins. Alright? It's funny shit. You know, and um, I don't know. I, I just don't get it. You know? You guys are a bunch of rubes, man. <laughs> this is true right here. How does it feel to be exit liquidity? That's what you guys are. Every time you buy it, it's exit liquidity for the ones that have been in it. They say, oh, shit, thanks for the buy. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Creates a little bit of a you know pump. But yet, they're like, shit, we're out. So it's pretty much flat for the day, past day. Eh, down, no, at 2%. Roughly 2% for the week. So let's see what we're looking at here. Um, uh, let's see, down 99% from two years ago. At the all-time high, it was two years ago. It's crazy. A month ago, it's down, uh, it's not bad, 1% in a month. About a year ago. A year ago down eighty nine percent. It's crazy. Yeah, a year ago down eighty nine percent. Then two years ago, then you're looking at down ninety nine percent. I know, I know, you guys are a bunch of uh, lemmings, right? And say this right. Well there's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Oh, it hasn't reached bot rock bottom yet, buddy. All right, because um, once it re reaches rock bottom, which is, uh, well, shit, the bottom is almost endless, but uh, there's no way it's going to ever go up and even be like 10 cents again, all right? Uh, 10 cents. It'll never be 10 cents again. That's crazy to even fathom that. So, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm looking at, this is Hex, right? I'm thinking Pulse Chain in my mind. It'll never be 10 cents. So, uh, let's take a look at Pulse Chain right now. It's the down 5.4% of the day. It's flat for the week. All the little pumps and dumps, pumping and dumping. Been up 41% of the month. Is this the pump you're looking for? You waiting for? Or not yet? And so far, um, damn. All time low. Let's see. It's down 
85%, which was four months ago, all-time low. And there was an exchange that dropped Pulse Chain, too, by the way. They showed three here, but there was one exchange that dropped them. I forgot which one it was, but I did read about it. I was like, okay, this was like a couple weeks ago. So, uh, I'm still waiting for those projects to say, oh, we did this, we did this. Nobody wants to touch it. That's what it is. And, um, you know, might as well just cut your losses. I think <laughs> cutting your losses while you can is better right now before they get to the end. When you try to cut your losses at that point when it's the end and it's either you have very devalueless uh, you know tokens or coins or whatever but then at the same time uh, very so like you look at what can you do with all this extra bags of shit coins you could be like LEN alright and uh, just have closets full of bags of shit coins as she can never sell. Go ask her about Impulse X. and <laughs> Go ask about Impulse X. Go ask her about uh, Eureka coins. How about ARBs? <laughs> ask her how many ARBs she has. And uh, get back to me on all those answers. Because she has a shitload bags of them in her closet. Alright. I think my little revealed of that a little too far there. You know. I just happened to look in her closet. And I saw all that stuff. Just saying. But yeah, uh, so, all I gotta say is, I think it's really time to move on, because it's so stale and stagnant, you're out, you got, you, some of you guys are probably on your pins and needles, just kind of hoping that Richard Hart will be able to survive the SEC and be able to put some effort back into this platform. But, uh, all I know is, you know, how much time are you going to keep wasting? Because you've already wasted all this time with the sacrifices and all that. I get the hex thing. It's cool. I get it. But now, you've already seen the end result. And the end result is this <laughs> mess. So, how much time are you going to keep wasting? You better get out now while the getting's good. It's not gonna get any better. It was sad that supposedly the bull run's coming in uh, I don't know early 2024, like April. I think they're talking about spring. You know what's funny about that? This <laughs> won't even be part of that bull run. It'll just be in the red still. Yeah, so just saying, you know, food for thought. I want you to open up your minds a little bit. There's so much more out there to see and feel and to get into. This shit is nearly dead. But I think that's what you guys want. You guys want it to truly die. Right? When's that? When Richard Hart gets locked up? What is it? Is it, uh, you know, false charges because, you know, what he was doing with crypto was nothing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm talking about. But anyhow, that's what's been going on here. Over here in the land of Dick Hearts. Who dicked y'all. And it's just funny how that is. And I'll be here to continue to pick up the pieces for you guys. But at the same time, I'm going to laugh at you guys too. Or you could be like Tiwi and be laughing at the bank. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes crypto can be very comical too. Just the characters that are out there. It's just funny as hell. But yeah. Be ready for that Richard Hart dump. Just saying. I'll see you in the next one.